Hi. So, this is my new project. This is a cheap CNC made for milling circuit boards. How cheap? Well, about 150 euros, but it does require quite a bit of work. So, is it worth it? Well, you'll have to decide. Here are the notables pros and cons. The most interesting part for me is the hardware. I try to keep everything as cheap as possible. Many parts on the BOM are so common, you might already have them laying around. The frame is made out of PLA parts, reinforced with M8 rods and filled up with cement. This is a very cheap combo. The total cost of rods and cement was less than 15 euros and makes for a very solid frame. The M8 rods are also used to join the pieces. The machine can get pretty fine traces thanks to a 4-plane approximation of the bed. It is suitable for many SMD components and it can also drill holes, making it good for THD. One notable thing is that homing is pretty accurate. Here you can see me milling the same pad twice after homing, and once it's done you can't even notice it. Before milling I want to also talk about safety. You will need personal protective equipment when operating this machine. You should work in a well ventilated area, use a respirator mask when cutting and drilling, and also use ear protection and eye protection. You can find more on the GitHub page. Here you can see two boards. The first one took around 40 minutes and the second around 1 hour and 40 minutes, both for engraving and drilling. And while you're waiting for that time, the next point will be important. It is very loud. Once that stops, I usually decide not to go all the way through with the holes and you will have to refine them with a drill. By now, you will have noticed that the bed is pretty small. This machine is meant to cut two common sizes of board I could find online, which are 5x7 and 10x7cm. I've also made a small jig to cut them in half. I've tried to work as much as possible to get decent consistency, but from time to time you will still have to refine some pads. You should always check for continuity after cutting, and in case do some post-processing. Over this board, for example, which is close to the max size this machine can handle, I had to refine 5 pads. I think this is acceptable, considering it took around 5 minutes. Some people use their CNC to mill the solder mask too. I've tested a bit, I got close to decent results, but after finding out you can also just selectively cure the mask with UVs, I decided it was not worth the hustle. This second method is just much faster. I will link a tutorial in the description for it. The electronics are decently simple. You could just assemble this out of common boards, like you can see here. In alternative, you could also put it all together with perf board, like I did here. Once the machine is up and running, you can also mill your own board. One more alternative, which is way easier, is to have it produced directly by a service like PCBWay that kindly provided me with these boards for this video for free. Here you can see I've made a double-sided PCB that can substitute much of the work in this part. I have to admit it, after all the time I spent milling boards, looking at this is quite astounding. They are very well made, they feel very premium, more than most of the pre-assembled boards I usually buy. I really thank them for the opportunity. You should check their site if you need a professional multi-layer PCB, or even a flexible one. They also offer CNC milled parts and professionally printed parts. I will leave a link in the description. I've also made all the code by myself, and as it stands, it is a bit clunky to operate. I suggest using a phone to control the machine, because it can go in standby without resetting the Arduino. In the future, I will just change the microcontroller. The limited memory prevented me from adding some quality of life features. By now, if you're still here, you might be interested in building one. Well, you can find a lot more information on the GitHub page in the description. This is all free and open source. I unfortunately do not have CAD files for this project though, because I model in Blender like a degenerate. This machine is not perfect at all, it could still be improved a lot, but I think this is good enough for publishing. I do plan on improving it a bit still in the future, but I also would love it if people contributed to it. This is not much of a tool, as it is a project, for sure. This all started from my desire to remake a failed project from a couple of years ago. I have spent a ton of time on this project, it is harder than it looks. Even though most of the machine was designed in less than a month, refining it and testing took ages, as you can see from all the test boards I've done. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and will visit the GitHub page. Thank you for your time.